Dangers on the beat. Okay, you guys, so before watching this video, this is kind of like a disclaimer about the video. Um, first, I would like to say that if you guys do not know, now you know, I have type 4C, like, very kinky, very coily hair. Not a lot of people really know how to work with my hair properly, as in the way that, basically, with my type of hair, to me, you need to babysit it, and you need to baby it. And a lot of people don't know how to do that, so before getting into this video, um, this is not a video to, like, bash or whatever, so I just wanted to give a disclaimer. So I just kind of want to say at the beginning of the video, so let's just go ahead and get into the video. What's up, Cinebays, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, I'm Cin, and welcome to my channel. And as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm getting my hair straightened after, like, about three years of not having my hair straight and trim professionally, nothing. I've been doing everything at home, but she got me. You feel me? She got me. So I'm with my mom. Don't do that. <laughs> she's getting her hair done too. So that's why my hair's still in twist because she's going first and I'm going to end up taking this out. Could you guys please say a prayer for the stylist <laughs> that's about to take this task? Because it's. it's Y'all already seen my hair in my wash day videos. My hair is nothing to play with, y'all. <laughs> I got that 4C that straight from the motherland, okay? Motherland? From the motherland. <laughs> Out the boat. <laughs> okay, look, she's trying to do me in. <laughs> but I done recorded a little bit at the house because I did put like some oil and stuff on my scalp because y'all, I had my hair in these twists for maybe about a month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and I know my scalp was dry, so I didn't want her to just go straight into uh, shampooing my hair and then like it just cut up on her. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys look at the footage from the house and I did on my dad. And then the next time you see me, I'll be at the salon. Okay, you guys, so I'm in my loud, my loud bathroom. So let's use that. Today I'm going to get my hair straightened. So I decided to bring you guys along for all of that. Right now I'm about to start getting ready, but I'm about to like do stuff to my hair. So I wanted to start recording. So all I'm about to do, which I probably shouldn't do, but I'm doing anyway, is put some oil onto my scalp. This is just olive oil and black castor oil. Just because, I mean, she's gonna wash my hair at the salon, so. Let me see if I can put y'all some work. I don't feel like getting chocolate, honestly. That's just hope y'all fall. I'm not taking a twist out. And so here she was running a little late, so we had went and got us some lunch just to eat. So that's all that this is. And then I had slowed this part down because watching it back, I realized like how much shampoo she used on my hair. That's not a problem because with a blowout, you need to shampoo, you need to get all of that, you know, product out of their hair. But when we got to the treatment part and how much treatment, like deep conditioner, I seen was applied to my hair, um, it was barely anything. <laughs> and I didn't realize that till I was watching it. 
And then this is where we get to the whole, you know, where I put the disclaimer at the beginning about. So now we're about to detangle my hair, which is was done after shampooing, rinsing out a shampoo conditioner with no product in my hair except for like some light serum. We go into detangling my hair and I would also like to say, as you guys see in the video, I do not say anything. <laughs> um, if anybody, like, if you, you know me personally, like, on a very personal level, then you know I'm not a, a very outspoken person. I also feel like if you should know something or you feel like what you're doing is correct, who am I to correct you? You went to school, you're a professional, you know what to do. Who am I to correct you? But in this instant, I do really wish that I would have said, you know, like, you're basically ripping my hair out. <laughs> um, With the combing, the blow drying, yeah, like, each section of hair that was taken out from the comb and blow dryer was how much hair I lose in a full wash day. And, like, looking back at it, I really do wish that I would have voiced that again basically my hair is being broken and ripped out so yeah that's what happened with these clips that's why i didn't record it that long because i was like i don't want to have too many clips of this in my video <laughs> so yeah And then here you see your girl had them inches, okay? Your girl has some inches. You feels me? Now, I did not record the trim. I did not. And in hindsight, I low-key wish that I did. Because looking at my hair right here and then after the trim really broke my heart because anybody who knows me know i hate to cut my hair i hate to get like actual trims which i say this was a trim turn and i also really felt like another reason why i had to get a lot of my hair cut off which everybody knows that from the jump my hair was not my hair has never been really even and i never really wanted to cut it to be even because again i hate cutting my hair so i always got like it made a little bit even every time i got it done never just straight went in and made it even and then also, um, I feel like, again, all the ripping and turning of my hair made it where I needed to get more cut off in the end as well. But at the very end, after seeing the haircut, I very much did not like it, honestly, because the back of my hair is long and then the front of my hair is short. Which, if you know, my edges always have been shorter than the rest of my hair. But now it's very much like, I don't like how, it, it looks like, some type of layers i can't think of what kind of layers but how people get the layers they be like up under their chin then they have the long hair that comes down it gives me that type of look and i i don't like for my hair to look like that plus to me my hair looks very thin when i have it straightened so i i feel like that doesn't go with my hair so i just did not like the cut honestly but my hair is even my hair does look fuller at the ends in the back when I have it in like a low ponytail, not right now, I have it folded. But yeah, that that's really my last comment about the haircut. <laughs>
Okay, so overall, um, the experience honestly really reminded me of why I don't get my hair done that often. Number one, I'm very tender-headed. Number two, again, as I state, a lot of people aren't used to working with my texture of hair. You could, you've seen it coming straight from the, from me getting it washed. I have a very tightly coiled hair texture. It's just very hard for people to work with, and a lot of people don't take the time or have the patience to work with it in the way that I would want them to, or in the way that I would expect them to. So a lot of times. I don't like to go get my hair done professionally and I use that because I am a professional I have my license I am a licensed cosmetologist I just don't like to get my hair done by professionals because a lot of times because I know I baby my hair I know how to you know I just I know how to work with my hair and a lot of people just don't because they don't have that experience of working with my texture of hair so like I said it just kind of reminded me of why I don't and why I went the last three years not doing it so yeah um and then my hair only lasted that day because again you know it's hot it's humid I didn't really expect my hair to last that long I've only been keeping it stretched because I'm getting my hair braided well I'm getting knotless braids and I don't want to have my texture popping through the knotless braids like when I first get them yeah so it probably will be a very very long time before you guys see my hair straight again I just don't want to go through that and then number two I'm gonna be trying to search for another stylist probably out of my state to do it next time someone who either specializes in like kinky or natural hair and just not natural hair in general so yeah that's that's really all I have to say about my experience getting my hair done but Thank you guys for watching again i do not want this video to come off as me speaking down or anything because again i really do wish that i would have voiced you know to the stylist of you know about how they was handling my hair so that you know things could have went better things could have went smoother and i could have had a better experience but again i'm not an outspoken person i maybe one day i'll get out of that but i've always been like that yeah so again this is not one of those type of videos I actually know the stylist and all, you know, like friend and everything. I just, that was my first time getting my hair done by them. So that's my first time experiencing that. But if you guys enjoyed this video or I don't even know <laughs> what to say because I don't know what type of video this really is. But like, comment, subscribe, comment down below your, um, your thoughts and your whatever's how you feel about the video, whatever. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Enter my giveaway. I'm having a 5k giveaway. It'll be linked down in the description. You know, enter. You might win $100. But again, hopefully I'll see you in my next one. This is Sin signing off. Peace.